Italians know and love good food. It's at the heart of their culture. So is taking the time to enjoy their food. They do not like to rush through meals. As a result, many of them think that fast food is a terrible idea. In 1986, the first American fast food restaurant, a McDonald's, opened in Rome. Many Italians were surprised and angry. They saw it as an attack on Italian culture. One man, Carlo Petrini, decided to fight back. Fast food is the enemy, he said, and he started a group called Slow Food. Today, over 100,000 people in 160 countries belong to the group. More people join every day. The members of Slow Food share many of the same ideas about problems with food today. One of those problems is fast food. Slow Food members consider it unhealthy. They also do not like that fast food is the same everywhere. That's boring, they say. What is better are healthy local food traditions with all their wonderful variety. Slow food members worry about a second problem, too. For a variety of reasons, some types of plants and animals are becoming very rare. Some have become so rare that the world is in danger of losing them completely. Some examples are several kinds of dates that grow only in the area around Siwa, Egypt. The blue egg chickens of Temuka, Chile, who produce eggs only when they live outside. The wild coffee plants of the Herina Forest in Ethiopia, the only place in the world where you can find coffee plants in the wild. And the Piraruka, a fish in the Amazon River that can weigh more than 500 pounds, as much as 250 kilograms. Slow food does not want to let these plants and animals disappear so the organization is working with local groups to stop that from happening. Slow Food wants to protect biodiversity, the wide variety of types of plants and animals we have on Earth. There is a third problem that worries Slow Food members. Much of our food today is produced by big companies, these companies sell their products in distant places, so they want products that can travel well. Big growers want the kinds of fruit and vegetables that look good after a long trip. But how do their apples, lettuce, and tomatoes taste when they finally arrive? That is less important to them. So now we have more trouble finding good-tasting fresh fruit and vegetables. Today, it has become common to eat foods from far away. Foods eaten in the United States travel an average of 1,300 miles to reach the dinner table. In the past, people got most of their food from farms in their local area, Slow food members say people should be buying more local food. It's fresh, and it's part of our culture. One man in the United States, Gary Nubbin, decided to try this. For one year, all his food came from plants and animals near his home in Arizona. One local animal there is the rattlesnake. Nubbin ate that, too. In his book, Coming Home to Eat, he says it tastes just like chicken. Fast food is reaching more and more parts of the world. But slow food 
is getting its message to more and more people, too.